Good morning, welcome to Garage Garage! And if you haven't guessed, we're back on the shred bed. It looks great. So later we're actually gonna rip this thing. You'll get to see us rip it. I'm excited, we're gonna go to K1. They're gonna let us do whatever we want in there so we actually get to test it, have some fun, bring out some of the other carts with some of the other guys and see if this thing works. But if you haven't been following along, here's a little recap of what we did to get to this point. So one of my childhood dreams was to have a car bed that could drive. We found a bed on Craigslist. We had two carts left over from Gymkhana. So episode one, we took all of them apart, found all the good parts, and then extended the frame because we had to, we did a little bit of measuring with the bed and retrofit that. So it gave us the inspiration to actually finish it and that everything would fit inside. From there, we had to reinforce the bed. We cut everything apart, we bonded everything together, we made new brackets to hold the plastic chassis together so it wouldn't fall apart when we're driving and then we tried to retrofit the cart actually inside of the bed itself just to take some measurements and see if it was really possible. From there we started doing the pedal assembly and just different steering stuff. I try to make sure everything could be in place so you could sit on top of the bed and have it visually look like you're actually driving the bed rather than sitting down in it in a normal go-kart. And four, we took it to our friends at Raceline because they saw a couple episodes and they wanted us to take it and test it there. They have a lot more space than we do, so we got to rip it around. However, at the end of that episode, we ended up breaking the motor. We called in our friend Derek, who is a cart guru, helped us out. We rebuilt the engine, got everything put in correctly, and then got to test again. So enough with the talking, enough with reminiscing on the past. Let's get out, let's have some fun. We're gonna load this thing up and head to K1 speed right now. All right, so we made it to K1 speed, doing a little track walk, just inspecting, see what uh, is actually gonna happen. It's a lot tighter than what I expected, but we should be able to have a lot of fun. We'll get some of the other carts out, <laughs> and then I think there's pretty much one good straight, but I don't think we'll have enough down low power to, to get through a lot of these turns uh, at the speed we want to. So we'll see how it goes. If not, we'll, we'll have to do a top speed test somewhere else, but this should be really, really fun. I'm really, really excited. The boys are excited, they're already getting suited up. So I'm gonna get suited and booted and uh, look at this, man. k ones nice enough to let us have this space to ourselves this morning, so we're gonna shred. Brakes are terrible, I need to adjust the brakes. Cause I can't stop. Otherwise I could go faster, but I couldn't, I can't stop. Pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> like it handles all right. I'm just getting fatigued cause my foot's like all the way out and uh, trying to slow it down. But it feels like it, I was about to get it right here. Like it can happen, I know. Once I hit the power band, it's gonna be creepy.
and, uh, They're real cute. And I'll hang out, huh? Hey, Hi, boys. How's it going? Coming to have some fun? We heard y'all are causing trouble. This place is <laughs> my house, so I figured I'd come and see what's up. <laughs> you see it's all smoked out in here? Yeah, big time. <laughs> Say it open all the doors. Is that thing ripping or what? Yeah, it's fun, man. It's I'm really fun. I want to see you get it. Do you need to get it? I don't know if I need to get it. Come on, man. <laughs> do they put these on these carts, too? They do a couple drift laps. They put these on carts, too? Yeah. All the VR stuff. I didn't know they started doing drifting. The VR setup, look at this. Oh. So they give you a VR headset to drive around the track in. K1's ahead of the game. That's really cool. K1 way ahead of the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's so ridiculous. This is easily one of the best and most ridiculous things Danger Dan has ever done. Just crashed. <laughs> I'm coming in too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that thing is a workout. Uh, your forearms are dead. I fell out like six times. <laughs> oh my god. That was the sickest driving we've seen yet. It's perfectly terrifying. I think uh, we might be putting some slidey tires on, maybe. Let's see, Dan Slippy speaking. boy, slippy boy. All about that slippy boy. That could be a clutch. Straight bait update. I might have blown up the clutch. Well, I broke it. Well, but we kind of saw that coming. There was more weight um, and then the high revs. I think we were just kind of burning the clutch out pretty much the entire time. So it happens, but we had enough fun. But I think what we got to do next is just replace the clutch, refine everything, and then shoot for the highest speed that this thing can hit. We're getting that thing in the Guinness Book of Records. Yeah. It's gonna be it. We're coming for the fastest bed. That's a wrap! Yeah, it was weird. Siesta Rosa is probably the best name ever. Whoever commented that, Siesta Rosa, you win. Did you guys like the episode? Comment below, let me know. What else do you wanna see on Garage Garage? And not just Garage Garage, staff inspection, knuckle busters, Carcane Rehab, Unpros, what? All of that's gonna be on this channel here. Subscribe, where am I supposed to go? Right here? There? Somewhere like that. This? Yeah. Or just yeah, one? Yeah. Just like that? Huh? Or like this? What kind of dancing? We just get a little loose here. What are you putting behind me?